out here, but it was totally fine to breathe. The model wasn't too happy about wearing this piece, no, because it covered up her beautiful face. <laughs> I like to create things that reflect love and pain, the balances of life really. Where you've got good, you've got bad. Backstage, I sometimes turn up with a big box and a screwdriver. And sometimes the girls are a bit like, what the hell is going to pull out the box this time? Like the, the coil corset, the girl is literally screwed into it. They look quite frightened when they see things like this, but actually when they get them on, they realise they're comfortable, they're not that heavy. At the age of 15, I started an apprenticeship in Hatton Garden. I would say about the last five years of being with them was when I met Alexander McQueen and I started moving into doing fashion catwalk pieces and then now I've moved into doing my own commercial collections. I think why my commercial collections have been so distinctive is because they have this traditional craftsmanship look and feel, but then they have this macabre twist to them which is my influence of fashion, really, fusing the two together, tradition and fashion. Being able to create things on the runway, you've got this freedom where there's no commerciality. I can, I can make anything. My brief was, Sean, I need you to make a connection between all the girls with tribal jewellery. It needs to be a survival. It needs to be all about tribal. So, and that was my element. And this, this was quite a hard look. But it was about survival, and survival is hard. I wanted to make jewellery that was precious. I mean, this is solid silver, and it's totally encrusted with moonstones. Visually, you've got this beautiful piece of fine jewellery, but it goes through the neck. I wanted to make jewellery that was kind of distinctive of our times, and make jewellery that was signature of a style and, and my style and hopefully that's what I'll achieve and that's what I'll keep on doing.